Just wanted to update, I did a video a few days ago where I was showing the potential cycles on cryptocurrency, a very simple method for potentially spotting um, trading opportunities. Uh, we're looking on this chart again back at Gala versus USDT. And I've drawn on very simple lines where we're looking at changes in the trend. So we can see here um, we're going from the 9th of March at midnight and that trend continued until the 10th of March uh, midday. So you can see a day and a half there. If that trend, uh, we move on to the trend now, that changed uh, going from midday 10th of March down to about 8 a.m. 12th of March. So again, just about two days there. See the trend again for the next phase was one day, six hours and so on. So basically between uh, a day through to two days, you get this change in the trend. So I predicted uh, a possibility time frame. There was a change in the trend at this point, having crossed through the moving average. Okay, and I thought, okay, right. So there is a change in that trend. So that occurred, let's just put the time on there. That was 8 a.m. 19th of March. Uh, we're looking at the talk, four hour time frame. So I predicted maybe in a day, day and a half, uh, that trend would change again. Uh, and I put the green line to show where that would be. So uh, in actual fact, it was uh, over to here. And that was, let's have a look at the time on that. So that was 19th of March, 8 a.m. to the 21st of March, midnight. So a day and a half. Again, that was the trend. So let's now put our new line on. So let's see where we're at now. And again, we're back through this point here. Uh, let's have a look at the time frames on this. And it looks like we've got another change of trend that's just happened in the last few hours. So this last trend change went between 21st of March midnight to 23rd of March, 4 a.m. So approximately two days there again. And so again, we're back in that situation. We've got a change in trend. So we had buyers, we have sellers, we have buyers, we have sellers, buyers, sellers, buyers, sellers, buyers, sellers. And that's all there are. There's only buyers and sellers. And who's winning that game? So I predict again that we're now back in a buyer phase. And so um, that could be, let's just draw the line on again. If we go for another two days, uh, approximately, uh, yep, 23rd to 25th. So let's change the color on that one. We'll probably update the video again in, in the future. Let's not use red. Uh, so if you want to see where that goes, do subscribe to my channel because there's my prediction. We're in an uptrend again now. How far up, we don't know. Always have a stop loss. Make sure you stick with that stop loss. You've got to preserve your capital at all times uh, to make sure um, that you're still in the game later on. So I'm, I'm, a back, I'm back as a buyer again in Gala. Uh, having stopped out on this previous one, it wasn't a sufficient enough trade there. Uh, didn't lose anything, didn't make anything. Uh, but again, on this buy trend, we're looking for a day to two days of uh, continuous buying. So it could be anywhere. It could be the one that pops up high. It could be just a small shallow uh, rise like that. So let's go somewhere between the two. So that's a possibility there. So again, subscribe to the channel, do another video in a few days time to see whether or not this happened. And I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching.